Welcome to I Can Science That, where we do honest investigation of everyday science. I want to talk about crepuscular rays because you hear this from time to time that the, the rays coming from the sun, those beautiful things that they put on postcards and religious pamphlets, rays streaking down through the clouds. The, the divergence of those rays gives us a clue that the sun is local, is nearby, right behind the clouds. The heliocentric model, by contrast, says that the sun is millions of miles away, but how can that be if we see these divergent rays? Let's explore your thoughts about what these divergent rays mean to you and what conclusions you can logically draw from them. So grab yourself a piece of paper and a pencil, a crayon, uh, a writing tablet, anything you've got. Grab your paper and your pencil, rewind in your mind back to kindergarten mode. When you got out your crayons and you drew a scene with a sun in it. And you drew rays coming from the sun because that's what a sun looks like to a kindergartner. So your very first experiences with the sun in the sky already had baked in that the rays were divergent. Now, on the other side of the page, let's do a, a little bit of a more thoughtful drawing. Let's draw a sun that's very, very, very far away. Let's indicate that it's far away just by making a small sun. Let's make a very small dot. And we're going to imagine that this is just millions of miles away. Very, very, very far away. Let's give ourselves a ground. Let's give ourselves a little ground. Maybe, maybe there's a people. Let's put a people on either side of our ground. We've got two people. What I want you to do next is draw a ray of light from that distant, distant light source towards our person on the right. This is a straight beam of light coming out and it's going straight towards that person. So that person looks up at the sun and they feel the sun on their face. Now, this person on the left, they also are gonna look at that sun and they are gonna get that, that beam of light right on their face. Draw that one for me. There's a beam of light coming from that sun going straight towards that person. And I think you'll see that what we had to do in order to make the sun shine on both of their faces was to make divergent rays. The rays have to be divergent in order to do that. But I, I asked you to make this sun, the second sun, very, very far away. So does the distance to the sun have something to do with those radial lines? Let's complete the picture. If light shines in all directions, radiates outward from the sun, let's draw radial lines out from our distant sun. Where do they go? They're, they radiate out in all directions. Do the divergent lines look different if the sun is very, very far away versus a sun that's very, very close? The one on the right, I asked you to make it very, very far away. And the one on the left, we made it very, very close. And yet both have divergent rays coming from them. Why is that? What does that tell us about the relationship between the, the divergence of those rays and the distance to the sun? I would love to see your comments down below. What did this little exercise mean to you? What do you think about crepuscular rays and how they indicate distance to the sun and why you drew what you drew? If you want to share your images, feel free to email me. I can science that at gmail.com. I'll be looking for those and I can make a little compilation of all the different diagrams and drawings that people have done. And, um, and let's think about it. Let's follow up this discussion. Why did I draw these divergent rays for my distant sun? Is that also what you drew? And what does that indicate about how you think about crepuscular rays. All right, send me those photos and let's see you down in the comments.